Right guys, this video today is a little different. I'm going to talk to you why you may or you may not be getting the results you want, okay? So, number one, it could be, well, it's down to a number of things, but the first one is activity levels. Are you active enough in the day, okay? So, you may work in an office, you may, you may work in a job where you sit, you sit down quite a lot, you only manage 1,000 to 2,000 steps a day. That's not good enough, alright guys? You need to be hitting 10,000 to 15,000 steps a day on average, okay? And the way I do this is by using a Fitbit, okay? It connects to my phone via Bluetooth, tells me calories burned, my heart rate, the amount of steps I'm doing, even the hours of sleep I get, okay? So, really, you need to hit 10,000 to 15,000 steps a day on top of your training, okay? So, your HIIT training, like we do on my YouTube channel, my Instagram, my page, my Facebook. We've got loads of workouts on there. You know, even if you do weights or cardio, running, cycling, you still need to be doing 10,000 to 15,000 steps a day, okay? That will make sure you're burning calories constantly. Because on average, an average person, you know, burns 2,000 to 2,500 calories a day. So, but that's doing, on average, 10,000 steps, okay? So if you're not burning those calories because you're not doing the steps, how do you expect the results to come? You've got to be active. You've got to be active outside your training, and I promise the results will come. Number two is tracking food, tracking macros, okay? So I've been doing this a little while now, and it's worked marvellously, okay? So... Basically what this means is, in a day, for your height, for your weight, for your age, uh, you're recommended a certain amount of calories, you know, proteins, carbs, and fats, okay? So, I, I've worked out, for instance, for example, I've got 180 grams of protein, 60 grams of fat, and uh, 300, 380 grams of carbs I'm allowed in the day, okay? That can be spread out across the whole day. As long as I hit those targets, I won't put on weight, I won't decrease weight, I'm maintaining my levels, okay? So, that means that if I want to fry up in the morning, uh, which is high in fat, obviously, that will probably use 30 to 40 grams of fat, at least in the morning. I'm left with 20 grams of fat for the rest of the day. I then limit my fat throughout the, uh, the meals I've got remaining, and I still hit my 60 grams of fat, and I've still had a fry up, okay? So, I'm not putting on weight, I'm not decreasing weight, it's maintaining. It's a great way of... Uh, well, for instance, if you do want to lose weight and you track your food for the whole week, you know exactly how many calories you're having on average a day and then you can see where you're going wrong. You can then decrease that by 100 calories. If you're still not losing weight, decrease it by another 100 and then you should see results to come because at the end of the day, guys, it's not about calories in versus calories out. It's simple, okay? That's, that's, bas that's basically it, okay, with macros. If you track your food, you can use MyFitnessPal, which is an app I use, and it tells you exactly to the gram uh, what the food is, uh, and it remembers it, okay? So if you're one of those people that has the same sort of food every single day, that's like, it, this app's ideal for you because it will remember the food. Uh, it will say how many calories you had, how many fats, carbs, proteins, tell you what you need to get, and if you're short of it, it will tell you you're short and you need, say, for instance, if you've got 10 grams of fat remaining, you can fit in that muffin in the evening, okay? And you won't put on weight. So it's a way of eating in moderation and... Uh, you enjoy your food basically guys because there's no point training, eating as clean as you can and not enjoying it, okay? Just having the plain old chicken, rice and broccoli with no sauce. Enjoy your food guys. That's what I do and I still see the results, okay? And lastly, it's all about consistency and intensity guys, okay? So if you're one of those that train or you go to the gym, say you go a few times a week but you're not putting in the work, how do you expect to see the results, okay guys? You need to be intense. You need to burn those calories, okay? Whether this is HIIT training, whether this is weights, cardio, you need to give it your all, guys, all right? You need to be hitting 80 to 85% of your working heart rate, the percentage of your working heart rate. That way, you know, you're not going over the top. You're not working too little, too hard, okay? It's right perfect. Your heart will be pumping. You'll be burning the calories. Your metabolism's up, and you will burn the fat, I promise, guys, okay? So you need to work hard. There's no point just doing the workout at your own pace Push yourself, okay, guys? That's where the results come. That's where your muscle fibers tear, they get bigger. If, that's one, if you're one of those that go to the gym and you want to get bigger, you've got to train hard, you've got to train heavy, you've got to lift those heavy weights occasionally, okay? Otherwise, you will not get big. And with, it, with the HIIT training, do an extra 10 seconds on each exercise. Push yourself, all right, guys? As long as you're not injured, you're fit, you're healthy, give it a go. What can go wrong, all right, guys? You burn the calories, you get the results. Well, I hope this video helped, guys. My top tips on why you may or you may not be getting results. Like it, share it, uh, tell your friends about it, and uh, I'll see you soon.